All right, so we're going to show you how to install the shift conversion kit on a Borg Warner transfer case. Uh, this one is a 1354. The same kit works for 4405, 1356, 4406, uh, maybe a few others. Uh, they all have this same shift motor uh, attachment. And when you unbolt the motor, you'll see uh, two high, four high, four low, um, and our kit will work with that. Now I've already removed the dampener, it's 13 millimeter bolts here, and I've removed the shift motor, it's 10 millimeter here, that's the socket that, that they uh, take. So once you get that off, then you'll see this shaft, and there's an arrow and it points to whatever gear that it is in at the time. So right now, we're in too high. Okay. All right, so then we have a sprocket. You can put that over a little bit. And the set screw will tighten down on one of the flats of the shaft. So we're gonna put that in and we'll pull it out just enough that the said screw doesn't have to rub the case so we'll lock that down All right. next is our clocking ring for the shifter mechanism and uh, there's several different positions that you can put this in to clock the mechanism uh, whatever works best for your build and different cases probably require you to do something a little different. So we made it nice and uh, universal. I've already tried this and marked the one, the, the holes that need to be used. And so that's what I'm gonna use. I definitely recommend you put this together without sealant the first time to get it all figured out. So uh, you know, when you get it figured out, you wanna put some sealant here as you bolt it on. And these are M6 bolts because that's what the case is threaded. All the other bolts in the kit are standard. It's just what we use. Get this locked down in place. All right. <clears throat> Next, we're going to grab our shifter mechanism. It's all sealed up uh, with sealant. And our sprocket, we want to make sure it's rotated all the way clockwise, and it is. And then on our shift kit, we want to make sure that the rack gear inside here, I don't know if you can see that or not, but we want to make sure that that is shifted all the way uh, this way. So it's all the way in. <clears throat> and if you don't do these two things and it, it, will, it won't be able to shift it'll be stuck so that's what we're going to do now we're going to align it and you'll see this uh, piece coming off the sprocket actually goes into this bronze bushing and that's what holds it center so we're going to go ahead and line this up and this can get tricky Okay, and you also want to put sealant in between here once you figure out how you want it. So we're going to go ahead and line some bolts up.
Once that's bolted on, you can run through your your gears. Here's your handle. Um, this part will be below the floorboard, and this part will be above the floorboard, and this bolts down to some brackets that will be below the floorboard. Then your boot goes over that, and you pick your favorite knob. But anyway, here's too high. Okay. And it's a little hard to shift by it not being mounted. So we'll see. It went all the way to four low. Okay. Let's see if we can. Well, that should be four high. And then there's one more position that gives a neutral. And it's in between four high and four low. And neutral is a little hard to get on these. These aren't designed to have a neutral, uh, not these electric shift ones. So uh, may get a little rattle. I don't really advise that you use neutral for anything except troubleshooting. Um, but anyway, there's too high. There's four high. And there's four low. Uh, right here you have adjustable detent pressure. I've got it ran in pretty much all the way. It feels nice. Once you get it like you want it, you can put some sealant in this hole and seal it up. And then if you ever have to perform maintenance, you can pull the uh, pull the plug out. Um, but anyway. That's it, and enjoy your new manual shifter.